in this session let us now go for the next toolbar called the modify toolbar after completing the manipulate toolbar we are next going to see the modify toolbar over here this modify toolbar is used to modify the existing drawings over here in the manipulation we were more concerned with the positioning and the orientation of the objects for example we are moving we are copying we are creating offsets we are rotating the objects etc we were changing or we are making changes with regard to the positioning orientation positioning and orientation of the objects whereas in the modify toolbar we will be carrying out the modifications of the geometry itself so i'll first close the manipulate toolbar and next in the modify toolbar the first option is known as the modify element option this is a very good example of the entire toolbar which is used for modifying the geometry that is using this single tool called the modify element option we can modify this element as desired for example i can change i can increase the size in this way i can increase the vertical height i can change the orientation over here i can rotate this object in this way i can make all the changes depending upon the selection of the point or the edge i can carry out these modifications using the modify element option that is the first option in your modify toolbar it is basically used for stretching or contracting the element the drawing that is the first option called the modify element click on this and click on the element anywhere on the drawing after which you can modify you can change its positioning you can change its orientation you can increase its size decrease its size etc all those modifications are possible using the modify element option i'm deleting this i'll create one more rectangle over here this time i'll go with the second option called the partial delete option partial delete option is used to delete an element or a figure partially that is for example i want to remove this top edge of this rectangle right now if i try to select that edge it won't get selected the entire rectangle will get selected and if i hit my delete button the entire rectangle is going to get deleted but i want to delete only the single edge on the top side so for that i'll choose partial delete option select this and i'm going to click on this rectangle somewhere over here after which it will ask me to select direction of partial delete the first point was this the direction of partial delete i'm choosing it to be in this way and wherever you click that portion will be deleted i'm going to click it over here and you can see this region has been deleted in this way or suppose i'll select partial delete and i want to remove some or i want to create some gap over here remove the line from this point to this point in order to do that i'll click over here go in this direction till this point and you have deleted that particular line from that point to that point this is nothing but your partial delete option let us select it over here and click the second point somewhere over here first point and second point over here in this way you can perform the partial deletion of any objects so i'll create a rectangle again over here go with partial delete select it in this direction i want to delete from here to here in this way that is your partial delete you can extend this suppose i come out of the command again select partial delete from here in this direction from here till here from here to here in this way you can partially delete any element not just rectangles you can delete circles etc whatever object you choose you can delete it partially till here that is you are converting the circle into an arc in this way that is about the partial delete option 
The next option over here is extend line. Now for extensions and trimming you have a number of options. For example, now right now we have extend line after which we have extend elements to intersection after which you have extend element to intersection. This is plural elements to intersection and this is singular extend element to intersection. That's the difference over here. Let us see three of them. I'm deleting this. First, let me create a number of lines over here. Now, after creating all these lines, I'll first go with this option, extend line. When I click on this option and click on this line, right now, this particular line must be of some length. Now when I click on this, I'll be able to specify the new length of the line. I can specify the length over here in the IQ draw itself. I have docked this IQ draw at the bottom. I'll just put it over here. And now you can specify the distance. That is the length of the line, inclined length. I can choose it to be some 10, enter and left click. Now you can check the dimensioning select this option true and select it over here this is 10 units long let me select this this is 10.2350 so now I am going to change that I'm going to change this dimension select extend element select this and this time I'm going to specify it as some other value let it be around 6 enter and left click now again check it and you can see this length of the line is 6 units. In this way, when you go with this option called extend line, you can specify a new length of the line at the prevailing or at the existing angle. It will just be modified and the length will be increased or decreased depending upon the value which you enter in the IQ draw. That is your extend line option. Let me go with undo. Now, apart from this, hold on your shift key and I'm moving it like this. Okay. The line at the top also got deleted because of the undo. Let me create one more in this way. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is, in this modify, we have, apart from extend line option, in the same way, extend line can be used to click on this and extend it till this particular line. Right now I want to extend this line till this particular line. So over here I will click like this. But when I click this particular line may or may not coincide with that line exactly. It's very difficult to coincide it because it did not snap to the correct position. For example, let me choose this line over here and when I am extending it, this point or this cursor is snapping at this end point itself not anywhere on this line. In order to make it snap at that particular point, over here, click at the active snap mode option and instead of the key point, click on nearest. That is you want the cursor to snap at the points which are nearest to a particular line. Select nearest and click on this line. Automatically you will be getting the snap to the nearest point in this way. Select extend elements, select this, and again it's going to come till the key points over here. Go with nearest and click it on this line. In this way, you are extending it to a particular other line. The same procedure can be carried out using extend elements to intersection option, except that over here some trimming is also going to take place. Although in all these options, extend word is used. These same options can be used to trim as well. That is to increase or decrease the length of the line. I'll select this and I'll decrease the length. This would be trimming. I have been using the extend option to trim as well. All right. So this is your extend line option. The next option, extend elements to intersection. Let us see in the next session.